outside. Another one got caught today. It's all over the papers. Teenager arrested in computer crime scandal. Hacker arrested after bank tampering. Damn kids, they're all alike. But did you, in your three-piece psychology and 1950s techno brain, ever take a look behind the eyes of a hacker? Did you ever wonder what made him tick? What forces shaped him? What may have molded him? I am a hacker. Enter my world. Mine is a world that begins in school. I'm smarter than most of the other kids. This crap they teach us bores me. Damn underachiever, they're all alike. I'm in junior high or high school. I've listened to teachers explain for the 15th time how to reduce a fraction. I understand it. No, Miss Smith, I didn't show my work. I did it in my head. Damn kid, probably copied it. They're all alike. I made a discovery today. I found a computer. Wait a second, this is cool. It does what I want it to. If it makes a mistake, it's because I screwed it up, not because it doesn't like me or feels threatened by me or thinks I'm a smart ass or doesn't like teaching and shouldn't be here. Damn kid, all he does is play games. They're all alike. And then it happened. A door opened to a world, rushing through the phone lines like heroin through an addict's veins. An electronic pulse is sent out. A refuge from the day-to-day -day incompetencies is sought. A board is found. This is it. This is where I belong. I know everyone here. Even if I've never met them, never talked to them, may never hear from them again, I know you all. Damn kid, tying up the phone line again. They're all alike. You bet your ass we're all alike. We've been spoon-fed baby food at school when we hungered for steak. The bits of meat that you did let slip through were pre-chewed and tasteless. We've been dominated by the sadists or ignored by the apathetic. The few that had something to teach us found us willing pupils, but those few are like drops of water in the desert. This is our world now, the world of the electron and the switch, the beauty of the bod. We make use of a service already existing without paying for what could be dirt cheap if it wasn't run by profiteering gluttons and you call us criminals. We explore, and you call us criminals. We seek after knowledge, and you call us criminals. We exist without skin color, without nationality, without religious bias, and you call us criminals. You build atomic bombs, you wage wars, you murder, cheat, and lie to us and try to make us believe it's for our own good, and yet we're the criminals. Yes, I am a criminal. My crime is that of curiosity. My crime is that of judging people by what they say and think, not what they look like. My crime is that of outsmarting you, something you'll never forgive me for. I am a hacker, and this is my manifesto. You may stop this individual, but you can't stop us all. After all, we're all alike. Yeah, me too. That was The Conscious of a Hacker. It's otherwise known as The Hacker's Manifesto, and it was written on January 8th, 1986, by The Mentor, aka Lloyd Blankenship. It was published in the Easy and Frack, which was a hacker publication that's been running on and off since 1985. The essay uh, debuted on Frack Volume 1, Issue 7, beginning with a statement, the following was written shortly after my arrest. You see, at the time, the mentor was a member of the Legion of Doom, which was a hacker group rivaling with other hacker groups like the Masters of Deception. Now, throughout the mid-1980s and into the early 90s, many members would enter the scene and either leave by retiring or getting busted by the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act or other such phone fraud things. This was a time before the internet, before the Free Kevin movement or the September that never ended. This was a time of Telnet, of bulletin board systems like Black Ice and, well, when blue boxes worked. This was in a post-war games era where the mainstream portrayal of a hacker was one who could start nuclear war with their computers. But to aspiring hackers and to phone freaks alike, at that time, the Hacker's Manifesto may have been gospel. I mean, in various forms, the text has found its way into popular culture, with excerpts reading from the 1995 film Hackers to the well, poster on the wall of Mark Zuckerberg's dorm room in the 2010 movie The Social Network. Now, while it's dated with its Cold War era references to dial up, the text remains a staple of hacker culture. Now, a lot has changed in the last 30 years, but have the feelings of apathetic high schoolers or the draw of, to computers by a certain mindset? I mean, computers still do what you want them to, and they make mistakes when you screw up, not when they feel threatened. Analog drunks may have been replaced with IP switches, bulletin boards with social networks and apps, mainframes with the Internet of Things, 
And an entire scene of underground phone freaks and hacker groups have pretty much been supplanted by an entire private sector of security researchers and penetration testers. So I wonder, in a mainstream hacking era where Python is taught to middle schoolers, where whistleblowers like Edward Snowden drive an entire industry to adopt stronger crypto, will the hacker manifesto continue its distribution from its original text file form and on to a new generation? Let us know in the comments. Until next week, from my inner teenager who was originally inspired by this exact text, trust your technolist. Take care of you like that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Before I go, Domain.com has been supporting Hack5 for years, so we can show our support back to them with a tweet at Domain.com. And when you're thinking about your next great idea, register your domain at Domain.com using the coupon code HAK5 to save an extra 15% off at checkout. So when you think domain names, think Domain.com.